We are most definitely in the beginning of the month. We'll keep a close eye on that as we get towards the end of the month. But as it stands right now, things fairly quiet out there. I am tracking some light showers making their way in disintegrating frontal boundary, making its way across the Pacific Northwest here. So we've been seeing some showers that have been periodically heavy down towards some portions of South Sound there between Aberdeen and Raymond and then off towards the coast, moving up towards Forks that will turn the corner and pass through the Seattle Metro tonight, but late and light and will be gone by morning. So we'll see some showers. That'll kind of just wander through. We'll walk through that in a moment. Drier on Wednesday, and then some winds are going to pick up as a new frontal boundary moves in. So looks like we'll see some showers with it, but the big story will be gusts that'll be up to about 50 miles an hour in some spots. And this will be the beginning of an active pattern that will kick in Wednesday night. And by the time we get to Friday, a system, that system, is going to push some big waves in along the coast, possibly up to about 20 feet. We'll take a closer look at that as that draws nearer too. But as it stands right now, California, Southern Oregon, getting ready to take another big drink of water. What we're looking at is that wind advisory. Now that doesn't kick in until 4 p.m. on Wednesday. We'll stay in place until 4 a.m. on Thursday. It's everything in this tan area, as you imagine, that would be the coast. But another area that I'm watching will be some of the foothills, the eastern foothills. So here are the Cascades. When wind goes up and over a mountain, it requires some effort to do that. So sometimes when they're coming down the back end of the mountain, they actually pick up velocity. So a lot of these places here that are normally wind shielded could possibly see some of those bigger gusts there. And you can bet the passes will be gusty too. That's one of the places we expect it to be a bit of a wind tunnel. In fact, as you take a look at the arrows here and you put them into motion, don't pay so much attention to the numbers. I mean, there will be some impressive numbers out there, but you see some of those colors, especially as they're blowing through the passes there, you start to get some of those reds and oranges. That's about 40, 50 mile an hour winds. And what you'll notice is there'll be a lot of them and they'll be constant. In fact, this is 6 p.m. on Wednesday. The coast is going to light up and then again, a lot of those foothill communities and those passes will be gusty too. So despite the fact that the numbers are single and calm, yeah, we know better. It's going to be gusty tomorrow afternoon and evening. Take a look at this. That system that we were just looking at on satellite, this is what its intentions are. Again, once again, as it moves into the Pacific Northwest, West, it kind of blows apart. It's just going to dissipate. So everywhere from Oregon up to British Columbia, we'll get some showers and some mountain snow there. But again, the majority of the moisture will push down into California and Southern Oregon. Over the next 12 hours, we'll just see those showers pass through and then it looks like it'll clear nicely tomorrow. In fact, this could be the third day in a row where we'll see some sun breaks. Seven day forecast shows a dry start. Those gusty winds kicking in around midday. Then those showers start on Thursday and it looks like they'll be a constant all the way through the weekend.